Mm. After a horrible time in Chicago, I decided the next city I went to would not be cold. I thought to myself, how can I guarantee I go somewhere warm? Then I remembered my youth, watching Japanese cartoons, or anime as the kids say. Anime presents a world full of beach episodes, a strange infatuation with watermelon, and chiseled washboard abs. I knew this must be the island to go to for a warmer climate. Any city would do. On a whim, I chose Sapporo, Japan. Once again, I was misled. I think I might be in the wrong Sapporo. It's cold here. <laughs> I wish Japan was a warm country. I, uh, <laughs> what, what happened? Do you have any insight here? Winter. It finally hit. What's that? Winter finally hit. What? What is what winter? <laughs> Who you? Huh? Apparently, I had come during an event known as the Sapporo Snow Festival, which is quite ironic, as snow had been what I was avoiding. Oh, oh, Danny Falco, oh, 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 Wombo Combo, happy feet. <laughs> Sapporo was cold. Not as cold as Chicago was, but still too cold for comfort. There was no live action beach anime scene to be found. Nobody looked like Goku. And even though everyone talked like in subbed anime, I couldn't find the subtitles at all. And the writing was very poorly done. I couldn't read most of it. Like, what's this supposed to be? Somebody please tell me, this is just nonsense to me. I don't know what this is. I mean, you should kind of like put a paywall, <laughs> put some of these statues behind the paywall. What were you saying? There's too much what? There's too much uh, snow at the snow festival. Too much snow? It's too much snow. You think you should tone it down? Tone it down. Okay, yeah. There's definitely a lot of snow here. To the point we saw them shipping it in by um, truckloads. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, it's a little excessive. A little excessive, yeah. One thing I'm noticing about this place is there's a lot of Japanese people. <laughs> Not really sure what's going on there. Despite my initial disappointment, I came to realize Sapporo, Japan was a wonderful place that didn't deserve to be compared to Chicago. But I'm going to compare it anyway because morals don't matter, so everything I do is determined by the YouTube algorithm. Here's some boring American snow. All bothersome and in the way, causing everyone misery. And here's the wholesome Japanese snow in Sapporo. All wondrous and joyful. I mean, look at this. This is awesome. Look at that one. Is that the Blue Eyes White Dragon? You have to be kidding me, this is huge. And then there's this one. How? How the hell is that? But the fun doesn't stop at the snow. Here's a boring American sink. You turn one side for hot and one side for cold. And here's a totally radical Japanese sink. This sink of the future demonstrates the tasteful amount of over-design typical of Japanese appliances. Pop quiz, what will happen when I turn the dial up? Think about it for a moment. Time's up. Let's see the answer. Now what you expected, I bet. When my first day in Sapporo was near its end, I realized I had barely eaten all day, so I went to a restaurant. Unfortunately, since I could not read, I ended up in Book Off, which is ostensibly a bookstore, but was actually a place to buy video games and model kits. I bought my brother a cool Dragon Ball game there. He loved it. So what do you think? Hey, Kevin? I... I can't read this. Getting to Sapporo was tricky, but leaving was even more of a hassle. Lobster boy could be anywhere. Turns out the bullet train doesn't reach that far, so the most efficient way to leave and go somewhere else in Japan, perhaps somewhere warmer, is to buy a plane ticket. So that's what we did. Goodbye, Sapporo. At least you weren't as cold as Chirac. Uh, one thing I've noticed about Japanese television is that they have way too much text on the screen. Way more than is required. Um, this was his look. Okay, you can't see that at all, but trust me, there was too much text. Wow.
wise. 